themselves the Guardians of the Galaxy. What a bunch of a-holes. Ah, I've got a feeling. I'm tired of believing. Uh. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, I'm just after me lunch. <clears throat> but welcome to my review of WWE Night of Champions from Saudi Arabia. Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Yeah, Jeddah. Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. Seven matches on this card. Do you know who wasn't on this card in Night of Champions? Fury. Fury wasn't on the show. Rendering the name pointless. But we're going to do this review in just under 10 minutes. Because there's not much I have to talk about. Except the main event. <laughs> yeah. So Night of Champions opened with the inaugural World Heavyweight Championship match between Seth Frickin' Rollins and SmackDown's phenomenal AJ Styles. Unfortunately, this was one of the most predictable matches of the card. Seth and AJ have proven that they can work well together. They did it in 2019 uh, for the Universal Championship. So this match... Was everything we expected? Seth was. We, we thought that Seth was going to be injured his leg. However, after a couple of pedigree exchanges, yeah, AJ hit a pedigree. Seth Rollins was able to win the new World Heavyweight Championship. Triple H presented it to him. All the great feels that we got from this and. Seth being the new champion, again, it was predictable because this is a Raw exclusive championship because nobody can beat Roman Reigns, so we need a new championship. Okay. Then we got Becky Lynch versus Trish Stratus. Now, this match was built, as you know, the dream match. Never done before, Becky versus Trish. And both of them proved that... You know, they can both go in the ring. Trish was dishing out Harakaranas left, right, and center. But then the finish of the match saw Zoe Stark randomly assist Trish in getting the win. Now, I'm going to be interested if this is going to lead to a tag team match uh, at Money in the Bank. If it's going to be Trish and Zoe versus Becky and Lita, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Or maybe SummerSlam. The possibilities are, are endless there. And then we got Gunther destroying Mustafa Ali. Literally, he, he barely got any offense. Okay, Ali got like a little running power bomb. That's cool. But Gunther is still the Intercontinental Champion. Yeah. And that's the right choice. However, the one time, the one time I bet against Asuka, she wins the Raw Women's Championship. This entire feud, I've been saying, oh no, they're, they're not going to put the belt on Asuka. They didn't do it at WrestleMania. She didn't even compete for the championship at WrestleMania Backlash. So she's not going to win here tonight, you know, fucking Bel Air, yay, defeats everybody. But Asuka missed the air, didn't hit Bel Air, because of course she didn't. But then Asuka hit the, put the green mist on her hands and rubbed it in Bel Air's eyes and won the championship. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? The one time I go against my morals, WWE's like, haha, we put the championship on her now. And uh, I want to, I want to send my condolences to, to uh, Natalia. It was her birthday, and she got destroyed in sixty nine seconds. <coughs> sixty nine seconds. Rhea Ripley 
literally destroyed. It, oh my god, it was so funny. 69 seconds. Oh my god. I can't even say, but I can't even talk about this match because it was 69 seconds. Then we got uh, the rematch. Cody Rhodes and Brock Lesnar. Cody Rhodes working through an arm injury. He had this like sling or like this thing on his arm, which was apparently like weaponized or something. And everyone thought, oh, we don't want Cody winning this. Cody cannot win this. If he's using this this thing on his arm. And Brock got all the offense in. Cody tried doing his free crossroads. But Brock locked in the Kimura on this bad arm. And Cody Rhodes passed out. He didn't tap out. He passed out. So what does this mean for Money in the Bank? Apparently, there is four potential Money in the Bank winners. Five in my eyes. There is Chad Gable is one possibility. Damien Priest is another. Dominic Mysterio and L.A. Knight. Yeah! But the person I think... A-Town. Down... I've heard rumors that Fury could be a possibility, and if he does win, oh my god, people are going to be pissed. Not me, though. I love it. I love Twitter having to cry. <clears throat> and then, oh my god, the main event. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens against the Bloodline, Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa. This is Sami's first time in Saudi Arabia in five years. The WWE's been coming to Saudi Arabia since 2018, and Sami has never came to Saudi Arabia and the pop that Sami Zayn got here it was unreal the match in itself was great the, the chemistry between Roman and Sami was on full display but the referee gets knocked down here come Jimmy and Jay attacking Kevin attacking Sami but then Sami ducks and the Usos super kick Solo Sokoa Roman Reigns sees this, gets in the ring, belittifies the Usos, shoves their face, hits them, just talks down to them, gets in the face of Jay, turns around, super kick from Jimmy Uso, and then he delivers another super kick. So Jimmy Uso has pulled the trigger and took out Roman Reigns. He rushes off with Jay. Jay doesn't know what to do. Jay's been very loyal to Roman Reigns and kind of hesitant to do something. But now Jimmy has pulled the trigger. And as they were up on the ramp, Kevin and Sammy hit their finisher. The stunner, Haluva kick, pinned Solo Sokoa. And now they are still the SmackDown and Raw Tag Team Champions. Overall, ladies and gentlemen, please stop the timer. You're somewhere over there. Overall, this, this pay-per-view, obviously it was in Saudi Arabia, so there was a couple of issues, but it still delivered, I think. And we're now heading to Money in the Bank. Now, thing with Money in the Bank. <laughs> I'm going to be over in Newcastle for Money in the Bank. I'm going to be with Creeps, <clears throat> as you know this. We're thinking about doing a live stream. We're, we've talked about it. I've paid for a thumbnail, so... <coughs> I think we are doing it. Now, when the live stream actually goes up, it'll probably be on the Sunday. I'm not home until the Monday... So my review will still be on the Monday. It'll just be really late on a Monday. Uh, actually, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to... I know the live stream will definitely be on a Sunday. The tour that me and Creeps are going on, uh, it, it takes place on a Friday. 
So I don't know if my video will be up on that Friday, because by the time the show ends, you know, we get back to his, I edit the video, it could be past midnight, and, you know, I don't want to upload it on a Saturday, so it'll probably be, like, on the Monday I'm coming home, so then you'll be looking probably Friday the 4th, 5, 6, 7, eight, Friday the 8th, Friday the 8th for my Money in the Bank review. And that's fine. That's fine. Um, my NXT Battleground review, now that will be up on Friday, this Friday coming. I did watch it last night with Creeps. I was up until the dawn of day, so hence why this video is very, very late, or well, late-ish. Um, podcasts. I'm going to aim to get... Uh, the the Guardian. Did it, no, I did the Guardians of the Galaxy one. I did that. Guardians is done. I think did I? Um, Fast X. But my mid credit scene. I'm getting to the point where I'm like, maybe next week, maybe not at all. I don't know. Um, <laughs> and then of course my podcast for Fast X, and we just seen the Little Mermaid last night. Oh uh, well, yeah, last night. So, podcast on that. So much stuff. I don't know if I've told you guys, but I'm not working anymore. I left about two weeks ago. Story time for another day, but... Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this review. I'll see you on Friday for... For NXT Battleground. Yeah. Ah. <sighs>